The magic is starting. Welcome, everyone. Yay. Welcome, Kimmy. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. Thank you, Fernando. How are you? I'm doing good as well. I'm really good. happy that you're making time, uh, a little bit of time to talk with us about what's happening today in the world of astrology. And thank you for taking the time from, I know you are on vacation with your family. And um, mm. please uh, uh, share with us uh, how it's been and, and what today and uh, what people should expect for the next, say, 2,000 years. Yeah. So thank you for joining. Whoever is coming in and checking in with this in their Facebook Live. Today is not only the winter solstice, which is in itself a very special day of the year. It marks this time of going inward in the middle of the dead of winter, the shortest day of the year. And it's this point where I always think of the evergreen tree energy on the solstice. It's this remembrance that, that our soul is infinite. You know, we can go through many, many lifetimes within a single lifetime. And it shows us like the evergreen tree that throughout the cycle of the year, they still stand green. And we have that energy within ourselves. So that's a solstice. It's special. It's beautiful. It brings us inward to ourselves. And then on top of that, something really special happens today. Saturn and Jupiter are coming into perfect alignment. And Saturn is this planet of, it's like our, our inner discipline. And Jupiter is this planet of big expansiveness. I describe it like the Santa of the sky. And they're coming together at zero degrees Aquarius. Now, this is the cool part. These two planets have been coming into conjunction with each other every 20 years or so. We don't, we haven't seen it, I believe, in over 800 years. But they've been connecting in air, or in, I'm sorry, in, in earth signs for the last, uh, I believe, 200 years. And they've been connecting in earth signs. Now, that was a, that's an old chapter. We're transitioning and they're now going to continue to meet in air signs. And this is the first time that it's connecting and it's shifting from earth to air. So we're meeting at zero degrees Aquarius. And I'm going to dive into the significance of zero right now, because that's the next piece to this. If anybody on here has ever heard of the age of Aquarius, I know that there's even like a 70s song about the age of Aquarius. Yeah. I don't know how it goes, but I've heard my mom sing it. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> and, um, the age of Aquarius is literally upon us today. Like if there was a day where we wanted to say it's starting, it's, it's now, it's today. It's Saturn and Jupiter, these two big, big powerful planets. So power plays happening in the sky and it's happening at zero degrees of Aquarius, the opening of Aquarius. It's the initiation. This is an initiation, the zero is, is not only significant, um, it, it not only signifies the initiation because it's the start of the zodiac sign, it also signifies, like to me, it's the hoop. Like if you think of an O, this is like what the Native Americans saw as like the sacred hoop. This is what they laid their medicine wheel around. Their, their teepees were in the shape of a hoop. It signified that we are all related. They said the saying, mi da kuye oyasen. It means we are all related, all life. Every bit of life is sacred from the ants to the mice, to the people, to the trees, to the rocks. Like everything holds consciousness and let's honor it all. And Aquarius is a humanitarian. So it's here to just hold space for everybody. It's basically taking us from the earth level. And it's saying like, let's jump on the, on the wings of the eagle and take a ride up here let's get a let's get this all-encompassing view where we can see how everyone's connected how everyone's related and what what does everyone need how can we how can we love and take care and honor all life mm. and yeah and something really fun because i'm making aquarius sound kind of peaceful right now and i i, I have to honor them they're rebels aquarius is is so rebellious and so this shift from earth to air also signifies this shift from this rigidity, this, this 2000 plus year long period that we spent 
in more rigid structures, coming up with rules to follow. And everybody's kind of going in the same, same routine, same patterns. And we're getting to the point where I'm sure many people listening right now have, can re- relate to this. You know, in our lifetime, if, if any millennials are on here, we've hit this point where it's like, something just doesn't feel right anymore. Like I can't keep doing the same shit that's been happening year after year. And this is the Aquarian energy. This is, we came in at the brink of the Aquarian age and it's coming in today. Like this is about reevaluating what rules and restrictions do, are we ready to get rid of? Are we ready to shed, to throw away? Even if it's just personal for us, they might still be out there in the world, but what are we ready to, you know, call into our field for our own expansiveness? So um, Aquarius is all about the revolution. It's all about the upgrades. It rules technology. It's literally like, I think of the, when you get to the next level of the video game, it's like, ding, 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 ding. You're like, you're up there. This is where we want to head right now. And so we can, we can say, design your avatar. We can design, say, design your superhero. We can say, activate your God, goddess consciousness, whatever it is that you want to frame it as. It's just the highest version of you. This is what, what you want to be calling in today and really just visualizing. Aquarius is the sign. It's like the visionary too. Um, so visualize what it is you're wanting to create, who it is you're wanting to create from, who is that part of you that's going to light up the world so much that, that we're going in a beautiful direction. So Fernando, I want... I see you over there, like loving this. What do you What do you have to say? Any questions? I'm just taking notes here. Notes? Like, <laughs> I'm just so excited. I'm getting goosebumps. My heart is racing. And I'm like, wow, this is amazing. Thank you for for that share. And uh, is this? Would you consider this a download, or are, this is unconscious to you? As like you're just so you've been doing this for so long that it's so easy for you to to connect to these energies and talk about it. This is me knowing the signs. It's been a couple of years. And I, I actually started studying through someone's program. Her name is Deborah Silverman. And I also branch out and I use many other, I mean, I'm, I'm sort of networked. I build my web of astrologers. So you notice even my social media feed has, has shifted over the years. It went from like fashion to like astral. And it's a pretty cool transformation to see because I really appreciate so many um, so much sharing that happens. And what, what these astrologers do is they activate and inspire something within me. So it's sort of a combination. It's like everybody's channels coming together and I kind of take what resonates in the moment. And I'm a Taurus since we're speaking astrology. So I really like to simplify things. So I think that my niche in astrology is to really bring it down into like bite-sized pieces for people. So I don't, I mean, I don't get much more detailed than this. It's very, I keep it very simple and simplistic. And how can I give you like the plug and play version of of what we're dealing with today? Amazing. And I know uh, we uh, are short on time today. I love to continue this conversation at different time. And before we close the call, what advice or suggestion would you give to people that are not, that are, that have the sign of Aquarius and the people that are not? Can they apply, mm-hmm. say, the design your avatar, divine superhero? Can is it the same for everyone? Or what advice, it, uh, a chunked up advice, could you give for everyone in any signs to take? And you've already um, been doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Share. I'm gonna just emphasize it again because this is important today, and I'm doing this for like hours on hours today. Sit down, close your eyes, look in here, look in the back of your forehead, and you need to see. Two things, focus on you. What is the highest and best version of yourself that you can see in this moment? And let your mind go wild. Go beyond beyond what you could even think of. And when you get in touch with that version, inflate that part of you or that version of yourself with breaths. Make it bigger, make it brighter, turn it up. It doesn't even have to be that small. You can do it bigger. And then invite the rest of the picture to come in where you're seeing what is unfolding around this being of light. 
What is unfolding around this highest version of yourself? What kind of life is happening around this part and in the community that they're in and in the world? And you're starting to create that picture of just what is happening in the present moment for this highest version of you. And we can literally call in this new version of planet Earth that's inevitably coming our way. It's change is inevitable. It's which way is it going to head from here on out? And that's the collective vision right now. So the more people we can get together dreaming this big, big dream for ourselves and the ecology of the collective, the better. Awesome. Thank you so much, Kimmy. You're welcome. Wow. Um, this has been amazing. Let's schedule the next one soon. Thank you for taking the time aside from your family and from your practice and from your ceremonies to give us this beautiful message. And I'm sending you love, light, fun, all kinds Thank of good you. vibes. <laughs> and to everyone listening as well and, and watching us. Um, until next time, um, have an amazing time, an amazing transition, amazing uh, time of reflection and creation. And uh, know that you can be whoever you choose to be. And if you, if you need ideas, look up to models, look up to role models. And until you, if you feel like you're still creating your identity, you can borrow a little bit of identity from one role model and from another role model. And, uh, and this is your practice, everyone listening, and uh, it's unique to you. So make it the way you would like it to be. Okay. Thank Thanks, Kimmy. That Good was awesome, time. Fernando. Thank you, yeah, everybody. We'll do it again. Thanks. Awesome. Until uh, next time. So welcome. Bye-bye.